What is up, uh, everybody on YouTube? This is Chris or Lunar Man, and today I am bringing you the next um, best hearth, uh, best hearth cards, best Hearthstone cards video. Um, this video I will be talking about the mage, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so yeah, um, as you guys know, the mage is more of like a control class. Um, lately, people have also been running it as an aggro mage, um, which is also pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Um, looks like there's two or three pages. Alright, let's start with, yeah, Arcane Missiles. Deal three damage, randomly spit among enemy characters. This card is really, this card is really good at, like, picking people off. Say they got two, two monsters on the opponent's side. Uh, maybe one has two health and the other one has one health. You can use your hero power on the one with two health. You can use arcane missiles and potentially, potentially kill both enemy creatures. Um, Ice Lance is also pretty good. It's got a um, pretty good combo effect. It says freeze a character if it was already frozen, deal four damage. Um, you can combo that off of Frost Bolt, um, Frost Nova, Cone of Cold. Um, Blizzard, Water Elemental, <laughs> you can combo that off of pretty much anything. So this is a pretty amazing card too. Um, Mirror Image is actually not a waste. This card is really good. Um, summon 201 Minions with Taunt. You can combo this turn 1 with Mana Worm. Um, after you cast a spell, this is a spell. So play this turn 1. If you go second, play your coin. Boom, you got two O2 Taunts and you got a 2-3. Or... If you play this card, Sorcerer's Apprentice, your spells cost one less. This card is free. So yeah, it's a pretty good card. Uh, Mana Worm um, is also a pretty, really good card. Uh, it's a one drop for a 1-3. It's awesome. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus one. Attack. This combos off of, like, everything. <laughs> except for minions. And uh, I don't know about secrets. But yeah. Arcane Explosion, not that amazing. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Eh, it's it's just outclassed by all the other damaging spells that um, Mage has. Frostbolt is pretty um, pretty dope. <laughs> uh, deal three damage to a character and freeze it. That's I don't know. This is just really really good for a two drop. Um, it clears out almost every two drop in the game. Um, well, a good majority of them. It clears off like maybe half of all the three drops and you know maybe some of the four drops too you can use it in combo with ice lance and do a potential seven damage to one target um, if you have up spell power you would do four plus five nine damage so yeah this card is a must-have sorcerer's apprentice um it, it you can kind of say it's a must-have i'm not really sure why you wouldn't um in like a spell deck, this would be good because your spells cost one less. And in, in, in an aggro deck, um, it's still a 3-2, which is pretty good for two. And your spells do still cost one less. Um, Arcane Intellect, draw two cards. Uh, this card is debatable. It's pretty much personal preference. It's I've, I've read that people think it's a waste because uh, oh, three mana to just draw two cards. Um, but if you did not want to run Arcane in Intellect... You could run um, Gadgets and Auctioneer, you could run... Um, there's plenty of other cards that have card draw, like, the, it's the 1-3 that I can't think of the name right now. Um, whenever it takes damage, you draw a card. I don't, I don't remember the name, let me just go look. Um, but it, yeah, if you don't want to use that, you can use the Acolyte of Pain, that's what I'm thinking of. Whenever this many take damage, draw a card. Um, and as a mage, you can actually use your hero power on your own minion. So, you could think about that, or maybe you just want to do Arcane Intellect, and that's what the gold one looks like. Um, Frost Nova, another card that's outclassed by another card. Um, this card is good. It's good for uh, control, but it doesn't deal any damage, and if you don't have a follow-up play, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a waste of a turn. But it's not a bad card. Um, I still like it, but I don't usually run it because there are two other cards that I will talk about that also freeze enemy minions. Well, three other if you include Frostbolt. Ice Barrier, um, another decent card. It's not necessarily ran in every mage deck, and it's um, probably situational. Like maybe you want to 
Uh, mage cards combo well off of secrets, uh, like this card, the Corin Tor Mage. The next secret you play this turn costs zero. Boom. This is a zero card, or it costs zero to play. And then you got this card, Eternal, Ethereal Arcanus, I don't know. <laughs> If you control a secret at the end of your turn, gain plus two plus two. So this is um, potentially a five five or four, and growing if the um, secret does not go away or you have more than one. Um, let's talk about mirror entity. This card is uh, probably situational. It'd probably be better to late game than early game because say say you're against a paladin and you have this card up and they just use their hero power. Well, that's gonna summon you a one one. Big whoop. Not worth it. But say late game, they summon an Ancient of War. It's a 510 with taunt. Well, boom, now you have an Ancient of War, 510 with taunt. So it's just, I don't know, it's just personal preference again. Not a bad card. Um, Vaporize is also pretty good. Um, it's a secret when you're, when a minion attacks your hero, note that it's only your hero. Um, destroy it. So this could go many turns without being triggered, which could be your plan. Maybe you want to do that so you can get like multiple plus two plus twos with the um, Arcanist. But this card it destroys the minions, so you can try to bait out in the late game. Maybe they play, um, let's just say, an Iron Bark Protector. Boom, he's dead whenever they, he attacks you. Just things like that. Uh, we've already talked about this card. It's not bad. Uh, three drop for a 3-4. Um, Cone of Cold is pretty good. It's actually, uh, I like it a lot, actually. Um, freeze the minion and the minions next to it and deal one damage to them. Um, it's, it's it's a better version of Frost Nova, in my opinion. Um, probably because about 50% of the time the opponent won't have any more than three minions on the field anyway. So there's no really there's no reason to freeze all quote unquote minions, whenever you could just do three. So this card is a pretty good card. Um, Fireball. This is in every single mage deck. If you don't use this card, you're doing it wrong. Enough said. Next card. <laughs> Polymorph, another card that's pretty much ran, that's ran in pretty much every mage deck. Um, I don't really know why you would not run this card. It's it's so good. <laughs> it's like the hex for shaman. Like you just have to have it. It's awesome. Um, I talked about this card. Not bad. Uh, the water elemental is also becoming very popular with mage. Um, basically because it is a really bulky and awkward minion to face against with because it has six health and you're like oh crap it's gonna freeze me so you have that going in your mind but then in your mind you're like well it only does three damage do i really need to like send three minions into this just to kill one guy so it's just a really awkward four drop in a good way um blizzard this card replaces frost nova deal two damage to all enemy minions and freeze them um, it's a pretty good card. I would, if you, if you're doing control mage, I would run this card. But if you're doing like aggro mage, I probably wouldn't run this card. Um, maybe secret mage. Like if you do a secret deck, you can maybe run this. But I don't know. Flame strike, another card that's just like, uh, why don't you have this card in your deck? I think the only reason you would not have a flame strike in your deck is if you're going 100% pure aggro. Um, Maybe you'd rather put minions in instead of this. Um, okay, so let's look at the cards I don't have for mage. Mm, counter spell. Another spell, or another secret. When your opponent casts a spell, counter it. Uh, this could actually be pretty viable in the future, because for... for I, I, see, I think for one reason I'm thinking of right now. Okay, so you know that paladins have um, consecration. You know that priests have holy wrath. You know that mages have um, flame strike. You know that uh, warriors have brawl. Um, you know that hunter, they don't really have any AoE. You know that shaman has lightning storm. So whenever you predict that the opponent will play their AoE spell, you could play counter spell. And whenever they play their spell, you counter their spell. <laughs> I hope that made sense. A lot of spells going on. But yeah, this card could be viable. Um, Ice Block. Um, this card's pretty situational. Um, it used to be pretty good. Well, the picture's not there. Oh, there it goes. This used to be um, better before like aggro took over everything. Like Zulok dominates everything. Um, when your hero takes fatal damage, prevent it and become immune this turn. It basically lets you live an extra turn that you would have died. Um, Spellbender. It's another secret. 
When an enemy casts a spell on a minion, summon a 1-3 as the new target. This could be bad. I'm thinking of one reason that this is really good. Um, because this actually happened to me one time. Um, say you're against a paladin and you play your spellbender. And say the paladin uses Blessing of Kings on one of his own minions. Well, what this will do is Spellbender will become activated and then the Blessing of Kings will be used on the 1-3 new target. So that means instead of him having a 5-5 five, five or better, you will have a 6-8, math is hard, 6-7 or better. 6-8, yeah, 6-8 or better. So that completely screws them over. Um, so that's a, I don't know. It's a pretty cool card. I don't know if you would craft it. Craft it first. Craft it. <laughs> I don't know if you would craft it first because it's an epic. But and then you got the legendary Archmage Antonidas. Whenever you cast a spell, put a fireball spell into your hand. This is so scary if you are against this. But whenever, beware. Whenever you play this card, it will say. Please kill me, I am an OP minion. <laughs> so whenever you play it, just prepare for it to get destroyed the next turn. But now you could combo this. Um, say it's turn 10, you have this card, you play this card, and then you play... Um, then you play like two Ice Lances, and then you play like one Mirror Image. Then you would have three more Fireballs in your hand. So this could be cool to combo. Ooh, I just thought of another way. Okay, I'm gonna turn the crafting off. Say you have Sorcerer's Apprentice on the be on the board. Say you play your Archmage on turn 10. That means um, this spell, this spell, and this spell will all cost zero. And you just load these spells out. You could like have like six fireballs in your hand at the same time. It's so funny. Um, and it's just I don't know. It's kind of situational, but it's, it's a pretty good legendary. And then you got Pyroblast. Um, the card that was nerfed that I don't really know if it's that good anymore. It's good in arena, but I don't know if it's that good in constructed. Deals 10 damage for 10. And it's just like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't I haven't used this card apparently since I don't have it. So it's a good card and it's also a bad card. Um, it's a bad card because if you draw it early, it's just like a, a dead weight in your hand, like a brick that you can't use for like another eight turns. It's also a bad card because on turn 10, you can only use this one card. Unless you have the Sorcerer's Apprentice out, then it will be 9 mana, and then you could, I don't know. But yeah, it's a good card because it deals 10 damage, and it pretty much kills any other minion on the board, and it could be a game winner. So it's just up to you if you want it or not. Um, so what should you craft first? Um, I would say if you're going for control, let's talk about control decks first. Definitely craft the Ice Lance, definitely craft... A mana worm because it combos well with other cards. Definitely craft a sorcerer's apprentice. Eh, no, no, no to both of these. Um, no to those three. No to that one. Definitely craft cone of cold. If you're super rich with dust, craft some blizzards. So that strategy you covered for um. The control side and if you're super rich and you just want to blow your dust you should craft a pyroblast but it's not necessary for um decent control decks and of course you can also craft this guy but he's a freaking legendary so if you got 1600 dust laying around go for it but i don't have that <laughs> okay now, now if you're going a secret um deck then i'd still say craft this uh, you could craft this, you could craft this, you could cr pretty pretty much craft any spell, any secret that you want. I mean, there's like five or six secrets, so it's all personal preference. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if you'd have two of everything, because that'd be 12 secrets in one deck. I don't know about that, but um, yeah. And then if, you do, if you're doing secrets, then you definitely want the Corrin, and you definitely want the uh, Ethereal. Um, but now aggro... All you'd really need to craft is Mana Worm and Sorcerers, because in an aggro deck you're going to have a lot of uh, neutral minions that you're going to put in there. Um, but this has been my opinion of the best mage cards. You can agree or disagree. Um, put it in the comments. I would be curious to hear um, if you agree with me or disagree with me. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you later.